My name is Elizabeth Campbell. I'm a circulation specialist at the library. I'm reading from The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien, which I was not even aware was on a band or challenge list. This is from Chapter 6, The Battle of the Pelennor Fields. Upon it sat a shape, black-mantled, huge and threatening. A crown of steel he bore, but between rib and robe naught was there to see, save only a deadly gleam of eyes, the lord of the Nazgul. To the air he had returned, summoning his steed ere the darkness failed, and now he was come again, bringing ruin, turning hope to despair and victory to death. A great black mace he wielded. But Theoden was not utterly forsaken. The knights of his house had lay slain about him, or else mastered by the madness of their steeds were borne far away. Yet one stood there still, Durnhelm the Young, faithful beyond fear, he wept, for he had loved his lord as a father. Right through the charge Mary had borne unharmed behind him until the shadow came, and then when Windfola had thrown them in his terror and now ran wild upon the plain. Mary crawled on all fours like a dazed beast, and such a horror was on him that he was blind and sick. King's man, king's man, his cry, heart cried within him. You must stay by him. As a father you shall be to me, you said. But his will made no answer, and his body shook. He dared not open his eyes or look up. Then out of the blackness in his mind he thought that he heard Durnhelm speaking. Yet now the voice seemed strange, recalling some other voice that he had known. Be gone, foul Dwimmer Lark, Lord of Carrion, leave the dead in peace. A cold voice answered, Come not between the Nazgul and his prey, or he will not slay thee in thy turn. He will bear thee away to the houses of lamentation beyond all darkness where thy flesh shall be devoured, and thy shriveled mind be left naked to the lidless eye. A sword rang as it was drawn. Do what you will, but I will hinder it if I may. Hinder me? Thou fool! No living man may hinder me. Then Mary heard all sounds. In that hour, the strangest. It seemed that Dernhelm laughed, and the clear voice was like the ring of steel. But no living man am I. You look upon a woman. Eowyn I am, Eowyn's daughter. You stand between me and my lord and kin. Be gone, if you be not deathless, for living or, or dark undead. I will smite you if you touch him.